I'm Choppy Layton. This is my wife, Linda. And we're here to give support to our daughter, Jennifer Carey, who is the 2022 Teacher of the Year for Somerset County. And now, it's showtime. showtime. A moment that's tough to find the words to describe, but you can probably tell why just by looking at this picture. This was moments after Jennifer Carey was named the Somerset County School District's 2022 Teacher of the Year. And we are happy to have Jennifer with us today, a first grade teacher at Carter G. Woodson Elementary School in Crisfield. Welcome. Thank you all very much. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. Congr uh, now, I can already congratulate you, but has reality set in yet? No. No. No, it has not yet. You know, other than the, you know, massive Facebook congratulations mm -hmm. and the phone calls and the text messages saying everything, um, I'm still just replaying everything in my head yeah. so was, was there a secondary teacher there student? was um, miss Vestina Davis from Crisfield High School was um, the secondary teacher of the year right. mm -hmm. now you teach first grade first grade I teach the little kids at little... Woodson Elementary so yes. how's that how do you like that I I love it I'm a kid at heart and so being able to walk in my classroom with kids it just brings joy mm. and excitement. It's just, it's my life. That, that was my calling. That's where I'm supposed to be. Yeah. And we have a great time. So tell us about your kids. My kids yeah. in school. When in you school. say, you're, you're so when you, Sorry. so when you, well, when you say kids, right. my students, I call my kids. And yeah. So when I'm out and about places, I always say I'm buying for my kids. And you know, I have 35 of everything and they're you know they kind of look at me and I'm like well you know my those are my kids they are with me every year and you know we do become a family in that room yeah. mm -hmm. so my kids are amazing I learn new things each and every day through them so it's just it's my joy to get up every morning and to drive to work so Aww. That's wonderful. Now, you actually started your career in Accomack County? I did. So 15 years ago, um, I graduated from Salisbury University with a bachelor's in elementary education. And um, I started teaching fourth and fifth grade in Accomack. And I loved it, don't get me wrong. Um, but I realized that just wasn't my true calling. So I went and I did my master's degree in early childhood and then moved down to kindergarten in Accomack and loved it, loved every minute of those babies. <laughs> and um, then one day I just said, you know, I wanna try to get a little closer to home. So I applied in Somerset, they offered me first grade and that's where I've been ever since and I have found my place. So let's back up a little bit, let's go back earlier. Where and when and why did you decide you wanna be a teacher? All right, we're gonna take it back to third grade. Okay. Oh. Yes. Your third grade. My third grade. And we all talk about this at my school because there's a group of us at um, Woodson now that all went to Holly Grove together. And it, so it, that was neat to see. Third grade, Miss Janet Corbin. She's now the librarian at Pocomoke Elementary School. She was the one that my light came on and said, this is what I want to do. Um, I still have a little form we filled out that she made for the parents that's, you know, your age, your name, what you want to do when you grow up, what do you like to be at recess, and it was teacher on there. And that has been ever since. Um, I, at home, mom and dad set up a spare bedroom for me with a chalkboard. They found old school desk at yard sales. I had my stuffed animals in oh there, my Barbie dolls, everything. So I had my own little classroom at, at home. Oh. And I mean, that's what I wanted to do. And I would sit in there, I mean, Stuffed animals, Barbies. I would even try to get my brother, older brother, to come in and, <laughs> you older know, brothers, yeah. he he uh, he set me up for learning to deal with some of those more difficult <laughs> students. <problems. laughs> so, um, but that was my calling. I knew in third grade that's exactly what I wanted to do. And all through high school, I always, you know, jobs I got were teaching swimming lessons, teaching summer school, or you know, anything camps with kids. So. And then here I am. <laughs> That's terrific. <laughs> Absolutely terrific. Okay, so here's the deal. Uh, we're going to press pause. Just for a quick break, just for a second. And, and we're going to come back and we're going to chat a little bit more uh, about what now, after being named Somerset County Teacher of the Year.
We are hanging out today with the 2022 Somerset County Teacher of the Year, Jennifer Carey. And uh, Jennifer, I just noticed you brought some uh, some special people with you today. I did. I did. I brought my support staff with me. Normally my team at school is my true support staff when it comes to education in school. But today I have mom and dad with me. Mom, um, hi, Linda mom and, and dad. Choppy. <laughs> so wonderful. wonderful. Teachers always need that support staff sure. with them. So sure. Are you just a little bit proud? <laughs> Just, 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 just a, a lot. lot. Just a lot. They, they're like, we're a lot. Okay, so you've been teaching, as you said, for 15 years. What would you consider to be the main factor for any student's success? For any student's success, they just need to love learning. And teachers need to just find the strengths of those students, each individual student, and take that strength. And that's what's going to help them to succeed, to mm -hmm. know that they can accomplish their goals and make those gains that they need. Um, loving learning is just one of my things, my passion that I really aim for, one of my goals. Yeah. You know, from day one, you go in, you see some of these little ones, especially the babies that are coming in, clung to mommy's hip, and you know, they don't want to come. That first week, you get tears, they're crying, you know, and I'm like, baby, I'm with you, I'm crying too, you know. <laughs> but, you know, then by the end, you know, they're just wrapped in your arms, and it's, I don't want to leave you, Miss Carrie, and, you know, we get those hugs before we leave. They love being there. And then after that, it's, it's no problem for them to learn anything else. So parents are, are a vital part. Hey, parents are a very vital part. How can parents best support the student? Teachers do a lot to send home, you know, stuff and try to invite these parents in and to be involved. I know what I do is um, I have, we have a class dojo where it's like a text messaging app on the phone. I send pictures out all the times of what we're doing in class so the parents know, videos of, you know, the kids and just oh. to keep them involved. I mean, I'm that teacher that I'm going to, I'm going to find you in the car line to show you this 100% on the spelling test. You know, I big parent advocate yeah. as a parent myself I want to know what my children are doing but sure. support them you know support the kids ask them about their day and you know so would you say that is something that a parent because the next question was what would do you think parents need to do just to help you be involved yeah be involved trust us you know that what we're doing you know for your students is what's best for them you know we don't Sometimes you, you get some news that's, you know, I don't know if I agree with this, but trust that we are doing what's best for your child. Well, I'm sure we would all like to think that it's very simple for you to go in. Here's what I'm going to teach you. You're going to learn it. It's going to be yeah. a wonderful day. But uh, maybe there's full class sometimes. Maybe there's just that one student sometimes that's just not grasping the, the idea that you're teaching until they do right what's that moment like we call those aha moments mm. they're amazing you yeah. know every child learns at a different pace when yeah. they're ready they're gonna get it right and it's gonna focus and it's gonna be and that's there. great and that's a wonderful attitude to have yeah. what's it like for you when that aha moment happens though uh, oh that's amazing we call it the happy dance and when we see it you know <laughs> the kids are like miss Carrie I got it Happy dance time, <laughs> and, and we do. We all have that little 30-second dance party of, you got it, you got you're it. amazing, and we have that, you know, we have to do our little, you know, <laughs> yeah. dance. We have different dances that we do, you know. They're like, we want the, oh, yeah, we want the pat on the back, we want the kiss your brain, you know. <laughs> we do, and for me, it's just like, it, it's amazing. Yeah. So uh, you're the 2022 Somerset County Teacher of the Year. Now what? Now what? I'm waiting on that email for my, my next set of duties. <laughs> um, I, I, I don't know. I know that um, I'm excited. I know that I'm very honored and I'm proud to represent Somerset County in October when we go for the Maryland right. Teacher of the Year. Um, everybody that I've met, you know, especially through this past um, event, there's amazing teachers in Somerset, amazing, and um, it's an honor to represent all these. A little nerve-wracking, too. <laughs> I, I, I'm just, I'm hoping that I can be the best and represent all of them, 
you know, for everything that they have to show too. Well, well I'm pretty confident you will. Yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. Absolutely. Jen Carey, congratulations. Thank Good you. luck. And thank you for being here today. Thank you guys very much.